Hi, this is Ollie from Drew and Fly It, and today we're going to be having a look at my Phantom setup. Now, I have my FPV computer here, which is just starting up, and I have my new copter case. Now, if you look below, you can see the link for that video re was review. So, it opens up nicely, like that. And so, here is the beauty itself, the DJI Phantom, with gimbal, with GoPro, with BTU, uh, with FPV, with uh, ISAD, it's got so much stuff attached. Now, I had a bit of a mishap with my antenna, so I decided to place it inside. At the moment, my the, the range hasn't been affected that much. Just gonna put the password in on my computer. You're not seeing the password. Let that slow beast warm up. So I'm just repositioning my camera. Let's just get the battery out. And also, so I can show you the app on the Phantom. I will start up. Now, what you have to remember is you always have to have this attached at all times. Otherwise, it burns out the transmitter, which you do not want. Now I'm just putting out all my FPV stuff. Quite a bundle of wires, but I like its cross compatibility and the fact that you can use it with so many things. But it is a hassle having so much wiring. So, oh, I'm just going to start up my Phantom remote, then start up the Phantom itself. By the way, I've got the propellers off because the propellers, the vision propellers won't work in the case, so I've taken them off and for this demonstration we're not going to fly, so I think it's okay having them off. So now I'm just plugging in this adapter. I got this off first person view, which I sort of got bullied into doing it from Simon or whoever the CEO is or the guy who owns it. Uh, because he just kept saying, he just kept like saying on the post, he kept saying, oh, well, we sell the right product to do it. We, keep, we sell the right product to do it. And I was like, oh, I can't bother to go through all the fuss. Let's just go with Simon's system and let's hope it works. And it does work and it works beautifully. Um, the idea of using this S CCTV camera is mine. I, I have never actually seen people using the same system before. And if you if you're using the same system, just leave the link in the description. So we're just attaching, just using the software I use with the FPV. No, some reason I have got a feed from the GoPro. You turn the GoPro, then you can get a feed from that. We've I haven't been very responsive, so the gimbal has turned off. My gimbal, for some reason, isn't being the most responsive at the moment. There we go. It might perk up in a minute, it might not. Uh, it's doing this annoying thing which sometimes doesn't want to. Sometimes it doesn't want to turn on, which is really annoying, but I'm getting that error fixed. Yeah, so as you can see on this computer, you have the FPV and all the telemetry data. You can see that we've got, I'm just going to check that you can see the screen. It, I'll bring it a bit closer. You can show the satellites here, if it's going up or down. You can show the line, at which way it's going, where it took off from, and just some other information, battery there. So that is very useful. It also says, I've uh, just moved it away, you can't see. It also says if what mode it's on, so. Now I'm going to open up the NASA Assistant app. You just have to connect to it. So you go main controller. I don't know how well you can see that. 
double checking. Yep, it's connected. So, oops, just touched the wrong button by mistake. Cancel, delete draft. Um, yeah, so just to show you that it works, you go on aircraft, then motor test. You can see that's got a bit of lag, as you can see. Like if I press it, it it's all right. But if I press it this time, it's still going, even though I've stopped pressing it. But you can see that it is working, and you can change any settings on it apart from update it. Hopefully, they'll include that in a update. Um, so you just got everything. You got the tools. You got the compass calibration, IMU calibration. You got all that. So basically, everything you'd have on the laptop one, but you can control it remotely from your phone, and you can even change settings while it's flying. I believe this is only limited to um, gains. So you, while it's flying, you can change gains. Oh, what's it telling me now? That's telling me it's got bad. Yeah, um, I'm gonna unplug it, but you can see, yeah, basically I've got my telemetry data here, the feed. I'm only using a 25 megawatts receiver at the moment, uh, because I had some recommendations that the, oh I know what it is, the battery's out, because there's an old battery, 